Today, we're going to be using artificial intelligence to create some music. In our last video, we used artificial intelligence to create a whole video game. This is insane. I can't believe this is real. We've given ourselves an hour to try and make a future bass song in Ableton using ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's get into it. Firstly, we wanted to ask it some questions and see what its understanding was of future bass and music in general. We're gonna ask it a couple of questions. Get them in the mood, you know? What tempo is future bass? What tempo is future bass? Okay, future bass is a genre of dance music. Yeah, ranges from 140 to 160. Okay. Now that we're both on the same wavelength and we both understand what music and future bass is, we asked it to create us some future bass chord progressions for the piano. Write me some piano chords for a future bass song. Sure, here you go. Right, that is what we're looking for, nice. It gave us five chords, so we added each one into Ableton, listen to all of them and see which one was our favorite. For now, I think we're just gonna add an, a, a regular piano. We're using the Elite Pianist free VST plugin, by the way. Okay, and I have a chord pack right here, not sponsored. We are simply just gonna copy and paste some of the chords in here, a C sharp minor, seven let's see if what we got for this yep perfect okay so now we've got five different options let's give these a listen let's take out the okay that's nice that's nice as well damn okay ah <laughs> Don't like it. Okay, I think we're just gonna go with the first one here. Once we had our basic chord progression down, we asked ChatGPT, using that chord progression, can you please give us a bass line? And this is what we got. Using, using that chord progression, could you write us a Bass line. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's given us whole tables of context. Okay, it's too, it's too analogy. C sharp we need now. And then we can change this around. But this is kind of the bass line we're creating for it. We then ended up asking it for a future bass lead for the flute. We can write a lead for it using this, but we're actually just gonna ask. I feel like that was the most dyslexic way to ask. <laughs> can do thing, please. All right, let's try it. E5, oh bloody hell, that's high. Oh, my ears. Oh! <laughs> All right, F sharp five. Well, I think that sounds lovely. So next, we actually asked for a drum pattern and this was the response. It just says kick drum, snare drum. Okay, it's just giving us information about drums. All right, let's create our own then. So using that information, we ended up adding a drum pattern. We're not trying to make trap here. Now let's get our kicks in there, boy. I think we're just we're keeping it as simple as possible for now, and then we can upgrade it later. Now that we've got the main core structure of the music down, we can start turning the track into a future bass song. I uploaded a video where I built my new PC, and since then I haven't actually transferred all my old sounds and libraries onto my new PC, so I'm working with what I've got.
gonna try a different program actually because we can't just rely on serum let's try a vital it's a different type of synth and this one's actually free so that's amazing we found the right instrument for the chords no doubt in my mind after we've created a very simple pattern using all the stuff chat gpt gave us we just made a simple drop i go off sound i don't go off technical terms but i know what that means okay we played around with some new chord patterns as well yes 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 called so good we have to play it three times per bar let's go so after that it was time to figure out what sounds are we going to use for the drop And after playing around, most of the time was taken up by trial and error. It's too, like, chilled. Oh, I like that. Okay, 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 okay. I like that, I like that. We can work with that. And we added the most transformative sound you could possibly add to any song ever. It was then time to adjust the volumes and the EQs, everybody's favorite. We then added some extra percussion. then got some vocals which I downloaded from Landar. And after adding some effects and cleaning up the song, the beat was made! So you can listen to the full beat either on SoundCloud or on the DJ Lords YouTube channel. But we're going to play it for you now. If you could just backhand the subscribe button for us, that'd be amazing. I appreciate you guys. Much love. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace. Maybe you don't know